Okay, it's going to be a quick overview of fertilizer requirements for tomatoes. Now keep in mind it could be organic fertilizer like manure, or it could be bagged commercial fertilizer that you're using. Key part is to start with a soil test and to amend your soil so at least you have your general conditions near that optimum level, along with a pH around 6.0 to 6.8. Now for field production, looking at early season, usually adding nitrogen is typically required, uh, especially if you see your plants kind of going a little limey green, and it can be supplied through calcium nitrate, urea, or blood meal. Keep in mind that urea is almost four times as strong as blood meal, so if you're going from blood meal to urea, you're not going to be using the same volume. Keep in mind that these percentages of nitrogen are that first number. Mid-season, we're typically going to switch over to usually a calcium-based uh, fertilizer. Uh, this is one from Botanicare. That's a quality calcium source. I have tissue tests to prove that its ability to increase calcium levels in plants. If you're under organic certification, there's Biomin Calcium, which is OMRI certified. Late in the season, we can get sulfate of potassium, 0050, which is low salt. It is typically preferred over potassium chloride, which is 0062, so a higher percentage of potassium, but also higher salts. Potassium nitrate uh, is typically not advised because at times of the year, you usually don't want to be adding uh, nitrogen, though if your plants are deficient in that, it is worth uh, considering that as a nitrogen and also a potassium source. Under plastic, uh, under high tunnel conditions, same thing, early season nitrogen, same as the previous slide, mid-season calcium, but usually later in the season we want to do a potassium and calcium kind of rotation. It may depend on the exact conditions, but in years of hot weather where irrigation is frequency is very high, it can lead to flushing of nutrients from the soil in these operations. As a result, you may want to have more of a rotation, since unlike field situations, you may push some of your early season nutrients out of the root zone. So those are just some general um, ideas to keep in mind for fertilizer requirements. I know it kind of kept it very basic, very simple. You don't need to go overboard despite what fertilizer companies may tell you.